Hello everyone. Since filming this production of Capalia, we've lost one of the great giants of the theatre. George Ogilvie worked with Dame Peggy Van Prague and Christian Fredrickson to create this magnificent production. And since Dame Peggy's passing, he's been with us every single season that we've staged this ballet and brought the magic of the original production to the company. George had a huge impact in the staging of this production. Uh, he worked very closely with Cheng Wu Guo and Akko Kondo and Andrew Killian back in 2016. And so we wanted to take this opportunity to pay tribute to George and his incredible legacy to the world of the arts in Australia in film, theatre and dance. I think this is such an important ballet for us because it was in the very first season that the company did back in 1962. But probably more importantly, and specifically this production, is it was the last production that Dame Peggy Van Prague staged for the Australian Ballet. And so it is our link with our founding artistic director. And I think it's a beautiful production. Not only is it just because it was Dame Peggy, she really poured every part of her creative being, I think, into this production as if she knew it was the last thing that she would do for the Australian Ballet and she surrounded herself with, you know, Christian Fredrickson and George Ogilvie, great artists in their own right. And so it has a really important and very tangible place. Well, it's such a ballet of hope, you know what I mean? It, it, it really is and the, and the Harvest Festival is a day of hope. So it's so important for them that the harvest be a good one. A good harvest means a good future and Capadia is exactly that. So I think to some degree its popularity lies in the fact that it's such a ballet of hope and of sweet things happening. Young people seem to love it very much. When I was young, I used to watch the Lisa Papan and Greg Horsman's Capellia DVD because this ballet has been a, such a you know, traditional work mm -hmm. of the Australian ballet. Yes, I think it's a great version mm -hmm. of Capellia and I love doing, like watching and like a repeating at home and um, I just like, think that it was really special that George actually came to stage a ballet yes. this time and back in 2010 as well. It is so special that Peggy Van Bra created this ballet and it was the last creation she created and left to us and it's been so many years but it's still the same and we carry the history yeah, that she today. created to today. I just feel so honoured to be in this ballet. Yeah, me too. Dame Peggy was such a great teacher and so she coached us in the quality and the style of the steps that, you know, an arabesque in Capalia can be different to an arabesque in Swan Lake or Nutcracker. It is definitely a technical demanding ballet for mm. both of us for principal roles. Yeah. And for me, act one, this when Swanilda jumps around and like, you know, crazy dance with girlfriend. Mm. Basically, I do need to have a big stamina and just keep rehearsing every day for me was the build up for the stamina. And on top of that, we do all the other works to maintain our body condition and also the strength to be able to go on stage without feeling scared. Yes. I think this ballet looks absolutely magical at the Sydney Opera House because it is an intimate theatre and it's an, a theatre that is really great for those beautiful heritage story ballets where you know every look, every eyelash, every gesture is important and I think the scale of this production sits beautifully in, in this theatre and, and I'm so pleased that we're actually filming it once again in this theatre so that you get that wonderful intimacy and, and that great sense of um, the arms of the Opera House wrapping around this beautiful production. Well, apart from anything else, I love returning to this ballet. And I think probably the principal reason is that I love working with people, creative people. And with Peggy and Christian and I, that's a chance that the ballet company gave me that I've never forgotten because it's so unusual to think that the three of us could invent this ballet and make it happen before we even started rehearsals, we knew what to do with it. We knew where we wanted to go. And I think that that, uh, to me, uh, well, I think the opening night was one of the proudest moments of my life. Even though it is 30 plus years old, 
it still is relevant and it's still beautiful and I think it will be in a hundred years time equally as beautiful as it is today. So it's an important work in our, in our heritage repertoire. Finally, when the three of us sat in the opening night of the Palais in Melbourne for the opening night, none of us, none of the three of us knew exactly what we'd done. You know, we just worked. We just worked the three of us together to achieve this. And when the theatre erupted <laughs> at the end of the ballet, we looked at each other and we thought, oh, oh, they seem to like it. And that's how it's been for 37 years. <laughs>